Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pubs here, and welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the all new three weapons that we have got a part of the GTA Online, the contract DLC update that has arrived in GTA Online right now. And we're going to be looking at those weapons, the customization features that you can put on this weapon, and then some se secret camos that actually Rockstar introduced to some weapons that are already in G2 online as we speak and just you know testing these weapons out and seeing what they can do and so much more So let's get right in to today's video. So yes guys We have three new weapons that have rocks are introduced as part of this update and as you can see I walk in to the armory in the agency and this is where you can buy actually all three of these guns a part of the heavy rifle you can actually buy at the um, animation store as well you just cannot uh, buy the other two weapons you only can buy them at the armory so let's start off with the heavy rifle as you can see this heavy rifle is you know a nice rifle weapon you can put all the customization features that you can for any weapon like extended scope uh you know another heavy mag to it uh so again all the options are pretty much similar the same but there's actually a rare camo that is on this new rifle that um is basically very you know good and um, it's like a little green camo with like I, I would say symbols again I cannot really lay out what these symbols actually are but again you have to complete 10 payphone hits using the assassination bonus method to unlock this finish for for purchase so again yeah those payphone missions are by Franklin again <coughs> we will be getting into all the money making guide in a video coming later on the channel so again stay tuned to that so again that is what that camo is again pretty uh neat camo there so again that's pretty much all and again these weapons are not expensive at all now let's actually move to the coil compact emp launcher and again this weapon is uh, you know not very special at all again you can put you know different you know camos on it as well again this one doesn't have any specialty camo on it when you you know buy it but again you can you know buy the uh you know the little launcher things in the gun for cheap as well they're only like about three hundred dollars i believe again i'm not sure about that price exactly but again <coughs> that is that and then moving on to the coil stun gun, uh, again, it's just a stun gun, guys. There's not like going to be very many customization features. As you, if you're not familiar with a stun gun, all it does is just tase people. So again, you can buy the tasers uh, uh, in there uh, if you wish when you buy this gun. And there's not a specialty camo as well for this one. Now let's actually move on to the uh, animation store. Uh, because there's actually three special camos that rocks are introduced as part of the patch notes and let's actually start with the micro SMG uh, That actually got a new camo as well, and it's like a weed type of style camo again It pretty neat like camo that rocks are actually introduced to the game and Basically you have to complete the short trip story to unlock the finish for this purchase And that's basically one of the VIP contract missions that you know Dr. Dre has in place to you know get the files from his phone the record deal that whole storyline of heist So again, that's how you unlock this weed uh, greenish type of camo Moving on, we have a new camo to the new, uh, or the shotgun, I should say. And again, this is like a bone finish, it's called. It has like skeletons on it with like a grayish finish. And to unlock this camo, guys, you have to complete 10 security contracts to unlock the finish for purchase. So again, <coughs> not real hard. You just got to keep doing the security contracts after the cooldown for 10 times, and you want to unlock this camo. And lastly, there's a new AP rifle camo and this is I think going to be one of my favorites again I don't use the AP pistol a lot, but it is actually a record uh, Label finish again. I'm forget the exact name of it But as you can see it's like music bars going up and down like with a green and red finish again It's a really colorful camo that again. I'm surprised Rexar introduced these three camos in the game again I don't 
remember what you have to do to unlock this camo but <clears throat> it's probably something with the new update so again you can just have to go in the uh, animation store and see what you have to do to unlock now let's actually go in to los santos again i was testing out all the weapons let's start off with the heavy rifle and again nothing very special you can see my character rocking the weapon I have extended mag, I went with the gold camo, and I, again, I just went into first person and uh, uh, and third person as well, just shooting, as you can see how, you know, it shoots and everything. Again, I felt like it shot fine, it was very powerful when I was hitting people, so again, kudos to Rockstar for that. Again, this would probably be one of my favorite weapons in the game, I just felt like when I was using it, it just felt very natural, and I, I just enjoyed using it, I think it's going to be useful for the new... Uh, VIP missions, the payphone missions, the security contracts. Again, I, I love that Rockstar brought this weapon back from the cut content that was in the game. So again, kudos to Rockstar for that. As you can see, I'm just messing with it, <coughs> messing with it out in the streets and enjoying it. Now let's move to the compact launcher, and this is not a very special weapon at all. It doesn't really do any damage. All it is is a little circle ball in there, and it's you only get one reload. And what it does is just make this little bubble. And as you can see, I was shooting it at the cops because I had the cops on me at the time. And all it does is just disable the car for like a couple seconds. It doesn't even do any damage on the cop whatsoever. So again, the cop could have kept killing me. And, and again, he was trying to do that as well. So again, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use this launcher very much unless I'm just you know messing around with different people and so again it's not very useful at all and then lastly let's move on to the stun gun again another one of my favorites and again I didn't know how Rockstar was going to do this because we only had the stun gun in like one of the you know missions in on in a story mode I believe it's like the first time it came to online and what I did is ran into it in first person and all I did was just go up to someone shoot it as you can see uh for first person um when you shoot someone it has a little recharge boost that you have to wait for so again it doesn't like <coughs> automatically um you know recharge so again it will take someone down it will you know shock someone but again that's all the charge it's going to be so again overall with these weapons i enjoyed using them i enjoyed testing them around and again they are going to be useful for the new contract missions as well and again i love that rexar introduced some new weapons into the game so again i wonder from you guys in this comment section down below what weapon is your favorite is it the heavy rifle the uh, compact emp or the stun gun again i want a few guys in this comment section down below again i want to apologize for my voice i'm still dealing with after uh flu side effects again there's nothing i can do about it but again i want to record this uh you know new weapon video for you so again guys if you did enjoy today's video a like rating would be super awesome remember to subscribe to the gta puffs channel for more videos like this again my name is puppy and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out